Do 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 do. Joe with Mr. Craig. Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to talk to you about something called symmetrical artwork. Symmetrical means the same on both sides. So, as you can see, I already have my paper folded. I folded it hamburger style, not hot dog style. You could do this hot dog style, and you could open and close it from left to right or you could open and close it from top to bottom it works the same way but for this particular drawing I'm going to show you I am going to be doing it left to right when I draw I want to press hard and I'm only going to draw on one side of the line so for this I'm gonna fold it back so that I don't get it on the other side okay so again you want to press hard don't scribble don't scratch your lines just make them hard and make sure that they show up real nice now this when I open it up is only going to be half of my drawing I'll show you a trick how to get your other side filled up so I'm drawing to fill up the whole shape or the whole space as you can see this is turning into a butterfly butterflies come to our area uh, during the summer and they stick around until the fall when they fly back to where they came from and start all over <laughs> okay so again this is only half of my design inside of the wings whatever you do it will come onto this side when I show you the trick so I'm gonna do some details in here but I don't want to make them too crazy because the more lines you put in the more you'll have to draw on the other side too now if you have paint or um, some other materials uh, you can color yours in I'm going to color mine in because it will look a lot better with color as we know butterflies are a pretty colorful animal the harder you press the better luck you'll have with this next step alright now you know what I'm gonna add uh, a big circle here too okay now as I open it up I can see that this side of the paper has stayed clean which is what we want in the beginning of the video you may have noticed I had a marker this isn't to color with it's actually to do some rubbing so I'm gonna close it the other way and you can see my butterfly is in there uh, you want to rub it the right way so when you flip it closed you're gonna hold your paper tight make sure you're holding it real good or it'll move around on you and stand up to do this now I'm wiggling the whole table I'm pressing so hard <laughs> you can close it and hold it real tight and rub and once in a while you want to check to see as you can see it's uh, transferring or coming onto this side so I'm gonna flip it back close and get the parts that I didn't get yet which are up here colors like black will transfer a lot easier than colors like yellow uh, certain colors especially dark ones will transfer way easier so you won't have to rub 
as long or as hard. Okay, so far so good. Looking pretty good. And you can see it has transferred my design. My next trick is to sit back down and to continue making those lines nice and dark. And take your time on this because you don't want to have to do it all over. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and show you in a minute how it turned out and then move on to coloring. So as I finish up with my tracing, you can see that some areas like this particularly is a little bit different than over here don't worry about it if it's not exact you can see this curve and this curve are a little bit different but for the most part it matches if you want to give it details like eyeballs maybe a little smile that could be uh, some fun for you now, uh, like I said, as you get to a point where you're ready to color, take your time. Um, remember that black will blend into your other colors if you're not careful. So um, I'm going to be making mine have some colors that fade into one another. And just like the... Uh, dot is here and the dot is here if this is orange this will be orange so symmetry means the same on both sides so remember that when it comes to coloring too it's not going to um, change on one side and be different on the other side it'll be the same on both sides so remember that word symmetry means same You'll hear that word a lot in your lifetime. <laughs> Symmetry is something we see and hear in science and math. And in this case, we're hearing it and seeing it in our artwork. Can you think of some other things that are symmetrical or have symmetry besides butterflies? Something that's the same on both sides. How about people? You have one hand on one side of your body and one hand on the other side of your body. You have one ear on one side of your head and one ear on the other side of your head, right? And a whole bunch of other parts of your body are symmetrical too. You have one leg on one side and one leg on the other. So symmetry is something we see not only with animals, but with people. There's a whole bunch of things in the world that are symmetrical. Notice how I'm taking my time getting close to the line, but trying my best not to go over the line. As you know, black is a color that will just blend right in with that other color and probably make it look pretty sloppy. So when I get around areas like the eyes and the mouth, I'm gonna be very careful not to mess that up. I really enjoy blending my colors, and with that, I have to be very careful not to press too hard, because if I blend too hard, one color will cover the other one up. We all know that green is next to blue. Purple is next to blue too. So I'm going to put in a little bit of purple on the tip of his body there. Okay, again, I'm going to stop the video and show you my end result. If you want to make yours look exactly like mine, you can. Or you can color it the way you want. 
Okay, so here I am finishing up my little artwork of a symmetrical butterfly. Again, you could do this with a whole bunch of things other than butterflies, but I would like to see your butterfly. So you can finish that up, take a picture of it, and send it to me. I would really appreciate it. I hope you had fun watching. I know I had fun making it. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.